All right, I just had lunch and we're back with chapter two of the four agreements and this actually goes into the first agreement. So the first agreement is be impeccable with your word. And so the chapter basically breaks it down into um, the meaning of word and the meaning of impeccable. So it starts out with um, saying that this agreement is the hardest to follow and talking about how powerful our word is. Uh, the word is the force that gives you the power to express and communicate, think and create. Your word is pure magic and can set you free or enslave you. Um, your word is like a seed for fertile grounds. So if your um, brain has negativity in it, your word will have negativity and vice versa and we want to prepare our minds to receive the seeds of love. Um, using your word and opinion is like casting spells on other people if they accept your agreements. And it's from the Toltec, so it goes into like black magic and white magic. But basically when you're using your word, if you're saying negative things, you're using black magic on other people. And if you're saying positive, loving, uplifting things, you're using white magic. And uh, by people hooking our attention, so going back to the first chapter in Hooked Attention, um, their word can change our entire belief system. And then reinforcing an agreement makes it harder to break. So if you already think that you're ugly and then you go to school and someone says you're ugly, that's reinforcing that agreement. And it makes it harder and harder to break even if someone tells you that you're not ugly. The second part is going over the word impeccable and when you break it down it means without sin but this book has an interesting way of defining sin and that is um, rejection of yourself and your own beliefs. So it says you can take responsibility without judging yourself and so from chapter one, it's kind of going back into self-rejection and self-hate. And um, when you're using your word against other people, you're in a way rejecting yourself. So if I have negativity inside me and I use negativity on someone else, that's gonna give them negativity, which is reinforcing me rejecting myself. Um, so to summarize that little part up, it's basically you get back from the world what you give. So if you give love out to the world, you'll get love back. And it says that um, being impeccable with your word is extremely hard to do because we are brought up to lie to ourselves and to others all the time. And I really figured that out. Um, one of my, or my top core value right now is honesty but i realized that it was being honest with myself first before you can be honest with other people um, we use our word as a personal poison to create and spread hell and then it goes into gossip as well and gossip being the worst um, poison and how quickly it can spread so it uses the analogy of a computer virus where gossip is the virus and you only see things through that virus now and you might not even know that you have the virus. And then when you communicate to other people, you're communicating through the lens of the virus. And the original person that started the gossip is like the computer hacker that's doing it for their reason. But when you spread the gossip, you're unaware of the reason that it was started to begin with. So you're spreading something that you don't know its origin necessarily. And yeah, I thought it was an interesting analogy to use a computer virus and hacker for that. And it goes on again to say you can only receive negativity if your mind is fertile ground for negativity. So right now I'm doing a lot of gardening and you have to have different soil for different kinds of vegetables and stuff. So that kind of stuck out to me that if I don't have the right soil or the right fertile ground, then it's not gonna work. So if I have a loving, positive, fertile ground, it's gonna grow loving, positive, fertile seeds. And then it ends with, you can measure your level of impeccability of your word by how much self-love that you have. It said that they're directly um, proportionate. 
because if you're being true to your word, you're being true to yourself and you have peace and love in your life. And positive self-talk is a great starting point to wipe out rejection and negative agreements. So even though some of the agreements that we already have might be reinforced and difficult to break, we also talk down to ourselves every day reinforcing those agreements. So if you can change your talk with yourself to a more positive approach, then you can help break down some of those negative agreements that you've had for a long time.